Man, Joe. I've been up listening to, uh, you know, Jay Electronica album leaked yesterday. If y'all ain't know, right? Uh, act two, Patterns of Nobility. You know, Act one dropped what? 2008, my nigga? I remember when I first got introduced to Jay Electronica, bruh. That's when uh, Erica Badu was fucking with him and he was coming out with that that crack, nigga. Underground audio dope. It was some shit niggas ain't never heard before. Like, who the fuck rapping over movie clips? You know what I'm saying? And and, 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 and music samples and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Jay. Got him, see. Till Jay-Z signed him. And, you know, the nigga just ain't been the same, man. But, you know, act one. That changed my life. Sonically. It wasn't even a fucking mixtape. That shit was, what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes? A pure fucking audio dope. Audio crack, nigga. Niggas gave us a taste of you. Niggas waited 12 years for this motherfucking album. And you know what? Act two, bro. Man, dude. I say I've been listening to this shit for two days straight. Like, I'm working on my actual album. I put out mixtapes my whole rap for real. I never put out an album. Man, I've been waiting on my album. I don't want to put that shit out. It's kind of just like Jay's, bro. The way I have to approach. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through something different. Every time I listen to Jay, bro, it just takes me to a whole another fucking dimension, sonically. It's the shit he dropping. All Jay Electronica is as a rapper is me as a psychic. Jay should be a preacher some fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Or a minister, minister of defense or something, man. A motherfucking nation of Islam or something like that. The nigga too powerful to be a rapper. Like, he has to, he, nigga know too much. The nigga's brilliant. As a mind, come on, this nigga dick. Nigga has a brilliant mind. Listen to DMT. Just listen to it. Press play. J Electronic and DMT. Just press play. Nigga, from the first bar to the end of the song, you're going to be. Nigga dropped so many jewels for y'all. And he cloaking. You know what I mean? That's how he was able to survive this long in the game. This nigga was signing Rock Nation. <laughs> it's like your boy. Niggas want a wild cuss. And, you know what I mean? And nigga's cloaking. Great minds think alike, man. I love that fucking album, man. That's the, nigga, 220 needed. Needed that, Jay. Just throwing that out there, man. Good shit. Good shit. I mean, it got leaked. It ain't like you put it out, bro. But that's how God works sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. Niggas needed that. Shit. That was a breath of fresh air yesterday, Joe. When I say we're doing videos, like, just on blind, man. I'm, I'm just having to look online. That's just say Jay Electronic and motherfucking Act 2 leak. What? What? Oh, nigga, stop. Hold oh, I stopped everything. Found the motherfucking shit on YouTube. Rolled up and just fucking zoned out listening to that shit, man. You needed that. <laughs> oh, man, I feel good, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm bumping that shit before I do readings now. You know what I'm saying? That shit just, man. <laughs> y'all know what Jay Electronic is, man. You miss it now. It'll make you like rap. <laughs> Hey, call him Jay. Nigga, what you say? I get so high off this guy. He's so high. He's so high. Hey, hey call him Jay. Electronica. <laughs> Electronica. He gets so high. It's that old Jay, man. Hey. Fucking love that guy, bro. Like, he just, man. Hey. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Man, Joe, like, what you think I'm doing this for? It's a message that's got to get out here, and us divines are the ones that's giving it. Really starts in five minutes. Let's give it the business. Divine Feminist Demo. We're waiting to get on some divine shit, too. Now. You ain't noticed. A lot of motherfuckers been breaking up. Past, like, two weeks. A lot of flings is dissolved in like two weeks. A lot of people from the past are coming back full circle, 
to either like apologize or at least acknowledge their activity and their wrongdoing in your life. A lot of shit been happening in the past two weeks. Kicking this shit off with a ten of wands. That's pumping the brakes on something. Or putting a passion into something. Clarifying that is the two of wands. This is work. Could be you pumping the brakes on a job. Could be... You know, a job you really wanted. Two of wands could be a job. It's a job you really wanted, but you see you can't have it. Due to circumstances. This could be pumping the brakes on your divine masculine's role. So where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? With my mask. Say, love the boy to death. It is what it is, but hey. <laughs> we're done now. <laughs> it's like, hey. This ain't no permanent ending. You can't cut your cord with your twin and shit like that. I can't say I'm permanently putting a permanent end to my twin because that'd be a bold face lot. Well, I am doing my twin as far as his role and my three of wands. He's just two of wanding my three of wands. I've been three of wanding whether he two of wands or not. That shit gonna get done. You know what I mean? The whole him two of wanding part. Just pumping the brakes on that shit. What are actions? Shit you've done. Shit you're doing. Not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Based off the shit you've been doing with your role, masculine. Or whatever your masculine been doing with this role, feminine. Hey, it's, it's just time to just pump the brakes. Time's coming to everybody's life where, like I say, actions speak louder than words. It ain't nothing but actions in my hands. So based off a few actions and behavior, you just pumping the brakes on the whole divine masculine's role thing. Not the toy flame thing, just his actions and behavior within your shit right now. Final smoke on it, we got the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is a master manifester. That's you, feminine. It's the power to create anything you want. It's an alchemist, it's a magician. I mean, which is some shit. An owner. This is the person who wields the power. That's you, feminine. And you got the power to make a lot of shit happen. Even pump the brakes on this whole little demo, if need be, right? Now, this King of Pentacles can also be a karmic masculine. Main reason I'm pumping the brakes on my twin, you know, at least for now, is he acting too much for karmic for me. And I've already had karmics show their teeth and really do some foul ass shit past two weeks. So, like I said, just to avoid anything else, I'm just I'm just cutting everybody, everybody across the board. I go for twin included, family, friends, it don't even matter. Like speaking personally, the shit that I've seen in the past two weeks with people close to me who've been close to me for a while, years. Real instrumental in my life and shit, man. Seeing their real faces and their real colors, it happens. Like, you be smoking crack thinking everybody like you. Or you ain't got haters and shit like that. And I said I was walking around here thinking like, well, because they had no problem with me, but it's just the people that I allow close to me. The shit that they did, like, that shit is foul business. And if a person close to me for years, this whole time, can do it, I can only imagine a new friend. Or my twin who just came in the picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, karma or karmic shit. When you see karmic shit, just pump the brakes on it or curb that shit. You don't need no other karma in your life. Because you already getting divine karma. That's just fairly important. Bottom line was very important. Six of Pentacles. This is going to be okay at the end of the day. If your mind's going to help or not, you're going to be all right. You're going to be okay. But... This okay energy is an energy your masculine fuck with a lot. Some energy that you ain't content with. See, clarifying the Six of Pentacles with the 60%, it's not even passing. It's homeostasis. The step before this is the dark night of the soul. It's having nothing. This is having something, but this something ain't really something. It's just homeostasis. Google the word and shit. The reason why the Nine of Swords is clarifying this okay shit is because Nine of Swords is just having too many motherfucking thoughts. This is losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight the wrong way. You know, only time you're losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, or weight, or gaining weight the wrong way is, you know what I mean, it's stress. And the only reason why you stress is because you ain't recognizing the blessings in your life. 
it's like me being in an okay situation. I wouldn't stress over it, but I more so be stressing over the work that I know I need to be doing to a want the work that I know I need to be doing to get myself from a six to at least an eight. That's having something. Bottom line, it's more important than anything. Less stress, you know what I'm saying? Less stress, less mess. You know, we all go through cycles. It's it's it's, it's a cycle. Whether we going from the ten to, the, I mean, the ace to the ten, or the knight, queens, kings, and things back to the aces to the ten. Like it's it's a it's a ride. It's a ride. Life is not a circle nor a straight line. It's more so a spiral when you're either going up or down. At the end of the day, whatever has been manifested came from your thoughts. Do you think manifesting a Six of Pentacles demo, you know, you just manifested an okay situation. It didn't turn out the way you wanted to. It kind of fell out. You was probably at a nine or a ten with it. Now it's a six. You're just getting past the dark night of the soul, going without whatever this was. It's a process. You, you okay. At the end of the day, don't stress because there's nothing to stress about. Main thing you got to understand, Six of Swords. When shit click, click with it. Six of Swords. This is going with the grain, not against it. This is things running smooth. Shit click it. Like I say, when shit click, click with it. When shit click, click with it. If shit don't click, don't fuck with it. Period. If it don't click, don't click with it at all. Because like I say, at the end of the day, you're going through a real six message right now. The sixes are past... The five. Five is just failure across the board. This is a step past failure. We all fail. But in our steps past failure, you see these swords? You see these swords? Hey, can't be too in our head about shit. We need to be wanding. What are wands? Actions, behavior. Shit you're doing. Shit you've done, not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Best way to get out of an okay situation, put some more wands in it. Put some more work in it. Growing harder. <laughs> more actions, more behavior, more doing, more so than anything. Coming to the situation feminine, you personally, you got the four swords, you in your head. Or this is too much rest and relaxation. Or this is an idle mind, which is the devil's workshop. That's how the devil gets in, through your dome piece. Your head is a sword. <clears throat> you got to keep your sword on you at all times. If you ain't got your head, somebody else got it. If they got your head, they got two. You in your head about this whole eight of pentacles. What's the eight of pentacles? That's the harvest. That's your life in a car. Shoes on your feet, clothes on your back. Comfortable bed to sleep on. You know what I'm saying? A house, car, job, purpose, twin flame demo, family, what have you. This is having something. It's also having something to lose. You at the six. You in your head about how you're going to get back to the eight. See, eight is really homeostasis, even though the six is. Six, you're just going to be okay. Eight, you're great. But nine, ten, that's awesome. Those are A's. This is a B. You got a D right now. It's good to be in your head about how you're going to manifest pinnacles. What's a pinnacle? A person, place, or a thing. Shit you could taste, touch, see, feel, and hear, and smell, and shit. Gonna have to get out your head. You gotta go from the eight to the nine. I mean, you're moving on up like George and Wheezy. You just went from the six to the eight. Now, how do you get your shit in order? You just basically take your life here, the eight of pentacles. You, yourself, because you're a person, place, or a thing, you're a pentacle. Just you personally line your life up. I told you, eight of pentacles is the hardest. It's a little messy. You're going to have to till it. You're going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Neaten it up. Otherwise, the weed's going to take over. Otherwise, you're going to have more bugs than fruit. If you don't till your garden, it won't grow in the manner that it needs to grow, which is in order. It's all about order. Feminine, you come into the situation, you're going to have to get the things in your life in order and stay out your head as much as possible because the mystery madness to stand out your head as much as possible, we got a self-imposed prison. Somewhere you don't need to be right now mentally. It is a step. If you're going from the four to the to the to the eight. 
once you get out your head towards you can do some actions once to where you can manifest some shit pinnacles when you get to this stage mentally because it's all mental this is a self-imposed prison long-standing belief that needs to be eradicated just something that don't fucking apply no more you know um this is a false sense of entitlement. You think people are supposed to have your back or you think people are supposed to love you or respect you or whatever the fuck. Like, yeah, they're supposed to, but, you know, the average, you know, average person in the world, not because it's more karmics than divines in this bitch. So you can't really feel entitled to anything. One thing you feel entitled to should feel entitled to is what's yours by divine right because at least knowing that it's yours by divine right you know it ain't going nowhere and you know it's yours and you know you're gonna have it might not be now but it's going to happen this is a false sense of awareness and a false sense of your environment where you stand with people once again after the fuck just happened like i said went to vegas on a vacation Started off as any other vacation, man. And like I said, this shit turned up real quick. It's one thing when you get to see the feelings of real people, but it's another reason when and how they do it. It's 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 how motherfuckers do shit, you know. And all I learned was shit that was told it was clear well before the situation even happened. Motherfuckers been show their true colors. You people show you their true colors when they first meet you. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you to get it. Because I didn't get it. Like I said, I'm a radical person. I'm very extreme and shit. So I feel like the people who so-called holding me down, close to me, friends, whatever the fuck, I figure they at least understand the struggle. They don't. It makes me feel more vulnerable. I am a bad judge of character. I know that shit. Some people are better judges of character. Me, I'm bad. I'm naive when it comes to certain people. Not all people, but certain people. And it's these certain people that I see. <clears throat> you know. Like I say, I don't know what I was thinking. Thinking they were a certain way when that's furthest from the truth. Can't be naive in the real world. Not right now. Like I say, if you got an eight of pentacles, it's a life. You got something to lose. A lot of people ain't got shit. They just takers. You don't want to be a victim out here. You don't want to be a lick to the world. Because they just, they constantly looking for victims and licks and shit. That's the game. Any self-imposed prisons you have at this point need to be eradicated. Religion, your know, beliefs and shit right now, you need to, you need to be 10 toes to fuck down on that. What it is, what it ain't, and what the fuck it's going to be. We got an election coming up. Nigga, your political views. It's good to define what the fuck that is right now. So post-election, like I say. <laughs> when it's time to ride, pick a side. You know what I'm saying? So post-election come, we ain't got no confusion when things start happening in a manner that, you know, it's like every consequence is a reaction to shit. I mean, every reaction, I mean, every action has a reaction. It's consequences and repercussions to shit. You need to know where the fuck you stand. Because it's a, it's a real divide that's going on. And like I said, we don't give a fuck about the world. So we ain't talk about political divide. Race wars. You know, the KKK got beef with the country. Whatever, that's they shit. They'll never come to the hood and get their ass smashed, banged, and rolled on. They know that shit race wars, you know, like what happened in Chicago when it was looting going on Mexicans turned against the blacks <laughs> real quick that shit happened real fast, like we didn't see that shit, we saw that y'all y'all sealed y'all hoods up real quick, and shot at niggas trying to come in, maybe we trying to come from shelter too, they, you know our whole neighborhood's fucked up, you know what I'm saying <laughs> we don't have a hood, every race has a hood but us Right? And we're not even welcome in any, like, I can say, man, let's time to ride pick a side. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be very crystal fucking clear. Pretty soon, who here and who here? It's only one right way, and that's up. That's going with God at. And those are divine realms we talking about. We ain't talking about nothing else. Everything else is the world. 
It's like Hook. You know what I'm saying? When Rufio drew the fucking line, nigga. <laughs> if you can fly and you can fight and you can crow, nigga, then you it. We can't say shit. We'll all come to your side. But you can't you can't fly. <laughs> you can't fight. Bro, and you don't even know what crow means. So look, you over there, we over here. Let us do us. When you figure it out, then come over here. But this is where it's really at. Fly fighting crow. That's that's a hypothetical analogy, but that's real spit. Fly. We'll just say that's ascension. You ain't ascending out here, you you can't even call yourself divine. And what we mean by ascending, exactly what the fuck it means to be going up to other dimensions. Obviously past the third. Fight. Nigga, you gotta be a soldier. Fuck as you said. It's the real world. Zion, the Matrix. Fuck you think these niggas even learning Kung Fu for? It's real out here. You seen the Dead Prayers hip hop videos, you know what I'm saying? Black Unity and Power over there, you know what I'm saying? It's the reason why Stickman and M1 ain't even around the rap game no more. Gotta be a soldier. Fight. You gotta learn how to fight. It's what you're fighting for. It's what you're fighting for. Crow. Nigga, that's swag. That's sauce, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Been all in. Fuck you said. That's a war cry, nigga. That's your stance on the situation. Can't just be ascending and know how to fight, nigga. You gotta crawl. When it's time to ride, pick a side. You, you feel what I'm saying? Hey, any self-imposed pressures you got right now, shake them bitches. Because you personally, in regards to yourself, you got fear. Fear. Making decisions while crossing your T's and dotting your I's. Why? Because you mentally discombobulated. This is a big ass sword. Fear. What's the opposite of fear? It's love. It ain't. Opposite love ain't hate. Opposite love is fear. So opposite fear is love. If you fear something, it's because you ain't got no love for it. Once again, only fear of God in my mind. But that's a healthy fear. Healthy, you can substitute heavenly. Or divine when I say healthy fear. But average fear is because I have no love for it. So the only thing that got me scared is something I don't understand. Like a big ass bug I ain't never seen before. You know, if I hear a big shriek scream in the middle of the woods, nigga, I'm going the other way. Why? No, it's done. We're done now. <laughs> Pack up. I don't know what the fuck that was. We ain't even finna see, nigga. We going this way. <laughs> Fear. I don't know what that is, nigga. And I, you know what I'm saying? I, I see it. I'm not even trying to get to know it enough to try to love it. The devil, Lucifer, Satan, three different people from three different places with three different agendas. Fuck them niggas. I'm not scared of these bitches, but I do fear the shit. Like these niggas clicked up against God for a reason. And it's a lot of people that fuck with them. Like, Majority of the world fuck with these three people I just named. Satan, Lucifer, and the devil. These niggas more popping than Christ in 220. Niggas more scared of these niggas than God himself who created me, them, everything in this motherfucker. These niggas more real than Jesus Christ nowadays. This is 220. If I'm lying, I'm frying. Facts. Niggas don't. F That's why they're the earthly trinity. <laughs> That's why they're more real to y'all than most things because they're close to here. They're in the third dimension. You got to get to the fourth, fifth dimension to get to know God, to get to know yourself, to get to know your path, to get to know anything on an ascended level. Filth, trash, flesh, wants, needs, earthly shit. It's here already. It's closer to you than God is. It's all mental. Just don't put yourself in a self-imposed prison thinking shit is one way with it ain't. Fear. You're going to have to understand what that means. Because if you put putting fear in any type of shit, it's got control over you. We ain't talking about earthly scare. That's that's a regular fear. All fear is really be just an indicator on what's happening right now. If you're scared, that means you need to run away. <laughs> you don't put... 
mm-hmm. like swords, thoughts into shit mentally too much because thoughts become things. And your greatest fear becomes your reality. So if you're scared of being broke for the rest of your life, you will be broke for the rest of your life. If you're scared of losing your parents early, might happen. you scared to die, you scared of whatever, like whatever you're putting this mental fucking energy into, it's going to happen. Thoughts become things. You can weigh a thought. You can literally measure a thought. What you need to do is do you. This is a queen of wands. Who is that? That is you. You're a divine feminine with a cape on her motherfucking back. You're in full form. And this is the mystery madness to yourself. It's always going to be eternal conflict being a divine feminine. If you ain't found that out yet, at least you're learning, you're getting in the habit of learning. Listen, it ain't easy. <laughs> Moving in the right direction. Like I say, it's easy to cheat. It's easy to cut corners. It's easy to do some wild ass shit. I seen some goofy ass post on Facebook. Some shorty, I guess she was gargling nut or something and shit. She must swallow some guy. You know what I'm saying? And then put it on a post. Like, well, my bills are taken care of for the rest of the year. That's definitely some karmic shit, like, you know. <laughs> so basically, do sex. She basically paid her whole bills for the year. That's that's not how the lines get down. Like, she definitely put in some wands, but that don't make her the queen of wands for doing that shit. <laughs> what is wands? Actions, behavior, shit you've done. Shit you're doing. Not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Shorty who did that bullshit, she's still going to feel interconflicted later because she's going to read the comments on that page and shit after, you know, she's going to delete it. She's going to be getting all kind of shit. That's her. She did that. <laughs> Shorty got a family like, you know what I'm saying? Might felt good at the time. That was emotions. See, you got to learn how emotions and like thoughts are different. It's one thing thinking doing something, but it's nothing feeling some type of way about it. You can cut somebody out in your head all day with a smile. Like, fuck you, you pussy ass motherfucker. I don't like you anyway. <laughs> fuck off my face. But when you feel this shit, it's different. When niggas get the boo boo face, when niggas get the gas face, when niggas get the. All that shit. Sound effects. They got some emotions. Those are cups. And cups. Can be read a little bit more than a thought. I can't read niggas' minds. I ain't gonna say I wish I could. I know some people who can. I'm pretty sure that's a curse too. <laughs> I can't read thoughts, but I can read emotions like a motherfucker. That's nonverbal. What's communication? 80% nonverbal. So 80% of the nonverbal communication is coming from here. What's the sixth sense? It's a, it's a cup. It's a feeling or emotion. What's a feeling or emotion? It's just an indicator of where you're going mentally. You a queen of wands. The internal conflict of being a queen of wands is that, nigga, it's all work, no play. You know what a life of a divine feminine is? Helping people and loving people and doing for so much. You, you took the time out to really find yourself and understand yourself and learn how to love people the right way and respect people the right way. Even people you don't need to respect and love people, even the people who don't love you. It's like you do all this good in your life only for people to get you misconstrued, only for you to be misunderstood, only for people to take you in, into a person you're not even. It's like you get accused for everything you're not. People still haven't understood you yet. And you've helped people time after time after time. That shit means nothing. You give your love to people. You give your all to people. And that shit falls at a deaf ear. It fucking fucks up. And it'll never click. But you still give it a person you are. You a fucking divine. You, you pick yourself up. You dust your heart off. You dust your back off. And you continue to do you. It's your job to do you. No matter the strife that come with it. It's like being a judge or being a cop 
or being a teacher or a psychic sometimes. I love what I do, but sometimes I got to give people bad news. Or I got to be the bearer of bad news or I got to be the vessel to get in your ass today. It's good shit that happens. But we're divines here. I don't know who sugarcoated the fuck out this twin flame divine shit, but that's not what it is. It's not my stay, but not like that, my nigga. It's real. <laughs> that's why this is a Zion realm. This is a whole Zionist type energy I got going on. Yo, being a real person is the hardest shit in the world to do. It's only 28% of real people here. That's why 70% of the people you meet ain't shit. Don't get it. That's why it's hard to click with the people you kind of can click with, but they're ascending just like you. People get pulled apart in different fucking directions, man. People got other paths, man. It's the life of a divine. It's real. Karmics don't have this type of divine accountability. Karmics don't have this type of awareness. You personally, in regards to the masculine energies in your life, we got bridges. One thing you learning is the three of pentacles all over again. This is the bridge factor. This is you. This is somebody else. And this is y'all doing some shit. Whether this is a friend, future lover, spouse, relationship, colleague, whatever. Whatever this is, y'all two going to be doing some shit. So make sure whatever y'all two doing is something good. Make sure this bridge y'all building, because that's all it is. It's a bridge that's being built. It's either going to be a makeshift bridge or it's going to be a, a nice, raw, sturdy bridge. You ain't building bridges for no reason. It goes back to motives. If a person in your face, they're in your face for a reason. A person in your life, they're in your life for a reason. Sometimes the people you meet and build bridges with aren't people you should be building bridges with. And then you're going to have to seven a pinnacle there as. Re-re. Seven a pinnacle. That's R-E-R-E. -E. You want a person to start doing some shit. Y'all building a bridge. But in the midst of you bridge building, you seeing exactly who this person is. You can't fuck with them. You got to get away. <laughs> it's not going to work. You know? Seven of Pentacles, let's rearrange some shit. Re-evaluate re some shit. Reanalyze. Recognize. Replay. Relay. Reverse. Relocate. Remove. Release. You know what I mean? Pentacles are like cards in a deck. If you don't like the way, you don't like the hand you dealt, you can always reshuffle that shit. You probably can't get your hand back, but you can always reshuffle the fucking deck and try something new. That's what the re, -re has always been. Three of Pentacles plus seven of Pentacles. What's that? Ten of Pentacles. What's ten of Pentacles? That's manifesting something. Ten of Pentacles is manifestation. But Ten of Pentacles is also two people coming together like butt cheeks. Going back to the beginning of your reading, family. You tilling your garden again. Your harvest. You lining your harvest up. What do you do when you line harvests up? You basically make a room for another person, place, or thing. This. This is you. This is your harvest. Without a harvest, you wouldn't even have nothing to bring to the table. This is what you're trying to put in your harvest. But the only way you can put something else in your harvest, especially at the A stage, is when you get to line this shit up. Once you got room, boom. You can get to the 10. You're on your way to the 10. Before you get to the 10, you're going to have to really execute this 7 of Pentacle, a.k.a. Riri, in the best manner. Three of Wands. Purpose over person. Purpose over person. You were divine for me. At the end of the day, it's purpose over person. It's like I said in one of these, one of these astrology readings. You know what I'm saying? Look at how many people chose purpose over you. Look how many people chose happiness over you. Look how many people chose 
a lot of shit over you. Right? Not saying you worthless or some shit like that. No. You at the, like you're getting to the point where you about to do the same shit. It's purpose over person right now. You're building a bridge for purpose value. You removing and rearranging and you know reconnecting shit in your life to get on path purpose. You ain't tilling your garden for another person. That's your twin shit. Like that shit is on pause right now for those that's on pause. If it ain't on pause, then yeah, you make a room for your twin. And it's your purpose for your twin to, to be in your life and around for you to be building with and shit like that. But it's purpose over person. For those that's, like I said, I'm dealing with their twins. It's like all this shit is happening for purpose, for purpose basis. What's purpose? That's you doing something more than just making ends meet. Let's do something more than work. More than survival. More than just living your life. You're going to have to take some actions. or actions? Behavior. Actions. Shit you're doing. Shit you've done. Not shit you're finna do. You're going to have to start doing shit. Or having done shit. For other people. Why? To bless them. So you can bless yourself. You're not blessing people to get blessings yourself. It's not a business of blessings. It don't work like that. It's just your purpose. To help other people. Since you're in a position to help. That's it. That's all. Nothing nothing really major about that. Um, the mystery madness to that. You're going to have to let something go. Four of Pentacles. You're holding on too tight to some shit. You're scared to let something go. Whatever this is. It's caused you a lot of pain. And you're going to have to go past the point of no return. That's what the Three of Swords is too. Something you've been holding on to for a while and you're finally going to have to go past the point of no return. What is that? You're going to have to leave your world. When you leave the world, where do you go? Home. 4 one that's home. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is you hold on to tight to, it's something in the world. Number one, it's a worldly thing you hold on to. Could be an idea of a relationship. Could be trying to have your twin in a certain way that you obviously can't have your twin. Or can't have your twin right now. This could be status. You know, you wanted to be, I don't know, the HBIC of your friend click or you want to be the matriarch of your family and shit. You know, whatever this thing you want to do, it ain't where you at right now. Because if you were that person, you'll be that person, but you're not. This is trying to be some shit. You don't have to be anything. You're already something. And that's something you're going to realize once you let go of whatever this is you think you need or whatever this is. It's a person, place, a thing, whatever it is you're holding on to. Whatever it is you think you need or you think you want or you think you should have or you think you entitled to or whatever the fuck that is. You're just causing pain holding on to that. Let that shit go. Number one, it's a worldly issue. It's small. You can hop on a fucking plane and really get a better view of what the world is. It's small. It's big, but it's small. Your world might just be your neighborhood. Like, this is your block. This is your neighborhood. Like, this is your whole block. Like, your whole community right here. As soon as you hop on a fucking plane, this neighborhood is it's going to become a dot. Then it's going to get to the point where you ain't even going to see it no more. It's small. The world. You get on a fucking spaceship or something and take the fuck off. You go high enough and far enough. You ain't even going to see the world. It's small. Think you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't sweat the small stuff. But guess what? Everything's small. So don't trip. Future final row. Feminine, you're going to the future by yourself. You were the dark night of the soul. Oh, no, excuse me. Sorry. You by yourself. This is the five of cups. This is a lonely card. Hermit, really. Uh, Acom is the lonely card in my deck. Uh, Mario Wayne's in the tub, and I don't want to know video. 
Uh, when you want to know, letting go. But you need to, because, you know, can't hold on to shit. Whatever you hold on to can't get taken away from you. That's why you can't hold on to shit anyway. That could be your kids, that could be your own life, that could be a car, that could be anything. Anything you have that's a pinnacle can get taken away from you. That's why you can't hold on to it. You alone and lonely, but you know what? You're just in a class by yourself. That's all it is. You're in a class by yourself. Like, you're a nine-year-old kid in high school. You're a senior in high school. And you're not. You can't kick it with the other kids. You're a fucking kid. You're not hanging with teenagers. You're not going to parties. You're not smoking weed. You're not, getting, you're not fucking anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you in a class by yourself. Yeah, you in high school, but that don't mean you really a high schooler. You got a Spider-Man backpack and shit. You about to play Fortnite at the crib once your mom pick you up type shit. Like, it sucks, but you did it for three years already. And, and where the fuck you going when you leave here? You're going to college. So that's four more years of the same shit you bitching about. Time. When you graduate college, you'll be what? Let's see. I am telling shit, you still be a teenager, my nigga, right? In time you will be okay. <laughs> By the time you hit 18, you know what I mean? 19, 20, 21, if you make it, you are gonna be one phenomenal personality. I mean, you already an anomaly, which is good. But just imagine the person you're going to be when you're a fully grown anomaly. All this loneliness shit is, is just shit you got to go through to make you the best person that you are. It's the reason you want to class by yourself anyway. Take pride in that shit. Don't, don't trip over it. You'll be fine. Just a couple more years. You know, like four more years. At least... Be done with college so you don't have to be in school no more. Like at this point, you could be living like Jaden Smith or Justin Bieber. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jaden Smith or Justin Bieber or some shit. Living your wildest dreams. This is the Nine of Cups. That's which is granted and dreams coming true. You by yourself. But but you ain't by yourself. You just really in a class by yourself because no one's like you. There's no one like you. Okay, so when you, this is like a a cocoon and shit, you know what I'm saying? You finna get your butterfly on in just a second. It takes time and metamorphosis and you just morphing right now. Final card of your message and your mystery man is feminine. We've got the dark night of the soul. This is going without whatever the fuck it was you was trying to keep in your life. You didn't want to lose your house, you end up losing it. You didn't want to lose your children. You end up losing them. You didn't want to lose your money. You end up losing it. You don't want to lose the shit you hold on to. Like who the fuck wants to go through the dark night of the soul? But guess what? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an energy. Everybody goes through this shit. It's somebody going through this shit right now. So when you go through it, take it like a champ, like a G, like a gangster. Because it's somebody who handling this shit in a way lower crazy energy than you are right now it's some people never have a pissing contest with your woes or what you've been through oh i've been through shit ain't nobody been through what i've been through. it's always somebody that's gonna shit on your story it's like i was raised by wolves and been in prison since i was 18 i'm 44 and this is my first time actually seeing in urban city. <laughs> Beat that bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? That nigga's not even an orphan. This nigga was raised by wolf. You got people in the world who was actually raised by animal. It's just how big the world is. It's just that diverse, my nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah. Got real life Mowgli's out here. It's the world. I mean, it's big, but it's small. 
Say how I should say this. Look, we all go without shit. It's how you handle going without the shit. It's the type of human being you end up post-trauma, post-loss, post-tragedy. Feel me? Like, that's... That's all that matters. All this five of pentacles gonna do is let the cat out the bag on the type of motherfucker you are. It's it's how you it's how you feel and what you're doing when you're going through your worst that dictates the person that you are. One thing I have to stop doing is depending on people. When I when I go through five when I used to go through five of pentacles, I used to hit people up. Hey, man, this so and so happened. I just lost this. I need your help. Like I actually need people help to find shit or do shit. Manny was my twin who I called all the time. Anytime I lost anything, anytime it was a fucking emergency, that was the nigga I called. I'm starting to see that. <laughs> I didn't have to call him. Shit he was saying the whole time. I mean, one people don't need to know I'm even going through shit in the first place. I can I can do bad all by myself. I can be broke all by myself. I can be hurt all by my fucking self. You know what I mean? When bad shit happen, I just deal with it. I don't call anybody unless I have to, unless it's like a super duper duper emergency. But I try to keep as less people out my business as possible and handle it as, as quick as fuck. So by the time niggas find out what happened and call like what happens now, hey, I heard so and so. Nah, it's cool. It's all good. And why you ain't call me? <laughs> yeah, I blue face baby. <laughs> it's like darkness is gonna come to the light. You gonna keep it one hundred with motherfuckers, and motherfuckers gonna keep it one hundred with you. You know what I mean? Or this is a Decepticon who basically was the reason for your downfall. But even in that case. Even in that case, it's like you will remain supreme. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, a lot of y'all are going without y'all masculines, but all this is is just a test of who you really are and a test of who your twin really is. Do shit I'm on too. It's like, hey, you know, anything my twin wanted as far as like, what he did need for me or whatever, it's like I'm letting him have that. Space, cool. Are you alone? All right, back, cool. I don't even tweet. Like, this is what you wanted. As long as you know this is what you want, this is what you get. I need to give him that anyway so I can get on my own shit. So by the time he hit me up with the damn, you don't fuck with me no more, I'm already doing shit and got a lot of shit cracking. It's like, oh yeah, damn. It ain't like I forgot, but I've been busy. I ain't like I'm waiting around for your phone call or waiting around for anything. Like I say, feminists, we ain't waiting for shit. Going into 221, we ain't waiting for shit. We on our business. If motherfuckers ain't doing the opposite of mustard, welcome. What does the master want to say in the fourth and fifth dimension? We have winning, winning, winning. Victories and celebrations. Putting smoke on the victories and celebrations. We got the queen of wands. Queen of wands is a psychic card. That's um, trusting your own intuition. What's trusting your own intuition? That's a psychic. It's also X-Men trading school. It's also dreams, visions, fantasies, signs, and synchronicities. Masculine is saying, you know, you, you winning out here. Like, he don't have to see you to know you winning out here. You don't have to be around to know that you're going to be fine regardless. Like all this energy of you going to be swaggerific regardless, he feels and can see. And he's acknowledging that. Or becoming a full aware of it. So even though y'all ain't talking, even though you ain't hitting him up, even though he ain't hitting you up, it's, it's like the general awareness is there. Unless it's a fucking emergency. <laughs> It's really no time for chit chat for those that's kind of in separation. You know what I'm saying? It usually takes emergencies or you know significant days or some shit to happen to kind of spark you two to come on each other's paths. But feminine, what you got to say in the fourth, fifth dimension? You going up? You ascending? You going the right way? And that's all that matters. It's purpose over person with you right now. 
What's up, guys? What's up? That's 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 all you that's all you focused and worried about. You're going up in no other direction. You got the distraction card clarifying this Ace of Swords. Three of Cups is a distraction or a third party. I just take it as going up is true north. That's the direction you need to go. You going left, right, back, forward, around. Like, that's just going in circles. We going up. Dude, like the Earth's axis, nigga, we out of here. That's the direction we going. Any other, any other way is a distraction. And you standing on that. Ten toes down on that. Feminine. Final card in this message. Eight of Wands. Communication, communication, communication. Communication is 80% nonverbal. Some things just don't have to be said. What are wands anyway? Actions, behavior, shit you're doing, shit you've done. Not shit you finna do because you ain't did it yet. When it comes to communication, feminine, you've done enough talking. Especially when it comes to the four wands. This is twin flame union, reunion, and recognition. Especially when it comes to this twin flame shit. It's enough talking. Like, not all some people who've like been in it for a minute. When it comes to talking, that shit did. It's about actions at this point. You know, if you in it by yourself in it dolo doing your thug thingamajig, well just keep doing your thug thingamajig. Ain't nothing but glory coming to you. Ain't nothing but blessings coming to you from you being at home. Final card in this message. Two of swords. No more talking. No more pussyfooting around. Two of swords. We just focused on the prize. Four of wands. That's the prize. I see the twin flame union reunion recognition if you want it. Or it's a prize. Like your dream job. Dream career. Dream house. Dream car. Just getting closer to God. This is finding your purpose. That was a, a, a prize of yours. It's actually finding your fucking purpose. You found it. It's finding true love, whether inside or outside this twin flame demo. Once you got your eye on the prize, you will attain it through actions. That's the message that I got. Hope I can be a good use. It's your boy D Boom. Please stay tuned.